economic and commercial attache at the Benin Embassy, Mr. Adenanji Thomas, says Benin's economy continues to show signs of resilience even in the face of global uncertainties. To ensure that trade is scaled up in the country and the ECOWAS block, Benin is joining hands with Burkina Faso to construct a railway line that will help cut off the transportation costs associated with roads. He said this during the celebration of Benin's 54th Independence Day in Accra. Benin is one of the countries in Africa that have had political stability since 1990. To this end, it has become a preferred destination for foreign direct investment, and this has resulted in putting Benin's economy on the path of growth. GDP growth rates recorded in 2011 and 2012 stood at 3.8% and 3.5% respectively. With agriculture as a main driver of growth, cotton production accounts for about 40% of the GDP and roughly 80% of official export receipts. The Attaché Economic and Commercial Affairs of Benin's Embassy in Accra, Thomas Adenyango, says the last couple of years have seen a drop in FDI's flow into the country. However, plans are afoot to develop a railway network from Benin's capital Kotonou to Ouagadougou in order to boost trade in the ECOWAS market. We started in the French part with that railway project from Kotonou Lome to Burkina, Abidjan and as well as uh, that big project of road, highway, three lane, times two, from Lagos to Abidjan. That one is uh, very good. So the perspectives are very good for our country. And uh, you know, actually, in, um, your country, Ghana, is heading the, the ECOWAS seat. So we have a lot to do together. Celebrating 54 years of independence, most of the Beninois said they were happy to see the country come this far. 54 years uh, Independence Day, I think we are all African and uh, we are on the land of uh, Africa and we can see that it's not that uh, we are much happy but is to say we are happy to celebrate the independence of our country. 54 years is a maturity, but still it seems like we are still young, our baby. We have to do better to improve the healthcare, to improve the education, to improve the development of our countries. Despite its rapid growth, analysts say Failures including a distorted tax system, corruption and weak contract system, and unreliable power supply are some of the factors that continue to hold back the country's progress.